I've been a satisfied Mac user for over 10 years now, and I want you to feel the same way. Half of that happiness comes from the apps that you actually use, not just the operating system. So one of the best things about Mac is that they have some amazing apps that you can use. And some of these I've used for years, some of them are fairly new, but they are all very useful. Thanks to Clean My Mac X for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get right into this list, going in alphabetical order. At some point, every Mac user will need to edit photos, and instead of paying $10 a month for Photoshop, you can get Affinity Photo for a one-time fee, and it does almost everything that Photoshop can do. It comes with a massive toolset designed for creative professionals. Whether you're doing minor editing and retouching images, or creating full-blown multi-layered compositions, it most likely has all the power and performance you'll need in a photo editing app for your Mac. I use this when designing my YouTube thumbnails, and it's been great so far, so if you want a powerful yet easy-to-use photo editor and you don't want to be locked into Adobe's monthly subscription, check out Affinity Photo. Next is the Ultimate Productivity app. If you've ever seen Batman, you'll know his handy assistant named Alfred. Well, that's exactly what this is, but for your Mac. Alfred is an application launcher at its core, and it can replace Spotlight Search on your Mac, but it does a lot more than that with things like hotkeys, keywords, text expansion, and more. With it, you can quickly search your Mac and the web, and be more productive with custom actions that you set yourself. Best of all, it's free, even though you can pay for an optional upgrade. Some of the main features include launching any application with a quick shortcut, performing calculations and spelling checks in the search bar itself, and quickly controlling your Mac by doing things like emptying the trash, starting the screensaver, restarting, shutting down, ejecting a drive, and more. Get Alfred if you're serious about productivity. Amphetamine is not what you're thinking. It's one of my most used Mac apps, and it's very simple yet very useful. It does one simple task, it keeps your Mac awake, and optionally the display, through a super simple on-off button, or automatically through easy-to-configure triggers. Amphetamine includes advanced features for those who need them, yet remains simple to use for those who don't need all the bells and whistles. You can quickly start a no-sleep session for your Mac with one click on Amphetamine's menu icon. You can set it to stay awake indefinitely, for a specified amount of time, or until a certain time, or for certain conditions like while a file is down downloading or while a specific app is running or many other custom triggers. And of course, it's 100% free. Backblaze is one of the most important apps you can get for your Mac if you want to avoid the heartache of losing any of your important documents or files. For just 5 bucks a month on their annual plan, you'll get unlimited cloud backup of all your files. Not only does it back up all your Mac's data, but it also backs up any connected external drives, and it's all covered under the unlimited plan. For me, this is essential because I have multiple external hard drives that add up to over 20 terabytes and Backblaze automatically backs up all of it. If for some reason my hard drives crashed, I could recover and download all my data immediately. It also has strong security, so I trust my data is safe. Having Backblaze definitely keeps my mind at ease. Next is Be Focused, and it's based on one of my favorite productivity tips called the Pomodoro Technique, which is a time management method that uses a timer to break down work into intervals, usually 25 minutes in length, separated by short breaks. It's a very effective way to retain focus on whatever you're doing. The app lets you create tasks, configure breaks, and track your progress throughout the day, week, or custom period. It lets you customize your work interval duration, the number of intervals between breaks, and has the ability to start, pause, or skip a work interval. If you want to maximize your productivity, definitely check it out. Cheat Sheet, say that five times fast, Cheat Sheet is a free app that lets you quickly view the keyboard shortcuts of the active app you have opened. We all know keyboard shortcuts are much faster than using the mouse, but sometimes it's hard to remember all the keyboard shortcuts for a particular app. For example, if I'm in Final Cut Pro, which is my video editor of choice, with Cheat Sheet installed, all I have to do is hold the command key down for about five seconds, and it shows me a list of all the active keyboard shortcuts for the current application. Super simple, but very helpful. Next is one of the most popular Mac apps and today's sponsor, Clean My Mac X, which is an all-in-one optimization tool for your Mac to clean it of junk files and keep it running fast. It has a beautiful intuitive interface that can do a wide variety of tasks, including cleaning and optimizing your Mac with one click and keeping your Mac free from malware because yes, Macs can get viruses too. It can locate hidden background apps on your Mac and disable unseen data collecting apps, but is Clean My Mac X safe to run? Yes, in fact, it passed the Apple notarization process, which guarantees that it is free from malicious components and is safe for distribution. It also has a safety database feature, which whitelists important files so you don't accidentally delete them from your system. It's the ultimate tool for your Mac if you want to free up space by automatically deleting junk, remove viruses and unwanted applications, tune your Mac for maximum performance, keep your browsing details private, get personalized cleanup tips for your Mac, and update all your software automatically for maximum protection. You can try Clean My Mac X for free by clicking the link in the description below. 
Speaking of storage space, this next app is an oldie but goodie, Dropbox. If you need some free cloud storage that syncs with all your devices and is accessible from the web, Dropbox is one of your best options. I've been using it for years and when installed on your Mac, it gives you a folder on your Mac that stays synced with the cloud so that all your files in that folder will be accessible from anywhere, even from your phone or tablet. It's also a quick and easy solution for sharing documents and files with other people. Another app I've been using for years and one of my favorite apps of all time is Evernote. This is like Dropbox, but for notes. It's your own virtual notebook that syncs to the cloud and is accessible from nearly any device. I pay for Evernote Premium, but the free version works incredibly well for most people. If you want to quickly save, access, and organize all of your most important ideas and thoughts, this is a must-have app for your Mac. One of the most popular questions I get is answered with this app called Flume, which is an Instagram app for your Mac. The pro version lets you upload photos and videos to your Instagram directly from your Mac. You can also use it to switch between multiple Instagram accounts, view your feed, and ultimately use your Mac to manage your Instagram. Highly recommended if you are constantly moving videos and photos to your iPhone for Instagram. This will save you a lot of time. A Helium is a neat free app that really only has one feature. It lets you keep a floating browser on top of all your open windows at all times. It's perfect for watching videos while you do other tasks on your Mac. The Helium window will never fall behind your other windows even as you switch tasks. It allows you to simultaneously see your content and your work. And what's really cool, it does not intercept mouse clicks when it's in translucent mode so you can still click, drag, and scroll behind the floating content. It's certainly useful if you are a multitasker. Now this app is the newest app I've downloaded out of all the apps on this list. It's called Ina, I-I-N-A. It's a free, open source, lightweight, modern media player for Mac OS. For years, I used VLC as my go-to media player, but VLC's interface has always been a bit outdated, so I switched to Ina, and it has worked great so far. It's designed with the look and feel of the latest Mac OS versions while integrating the latest features like Force Touch, Touch Bar, Picture in Picture, and Dark Mode. And best of all, it can play pretty much any media file you throw at it. Next up is something everybody needs, LastPass, which is my go-to password manager. I switched to LastPass last year because it offers all the features that I need in its free version. And when it comes to remembering passwords, having a password manager create and remember strong, unique passwords is a lifesaver. When choosing a password manager, you want one that is secure with strong encryption and one that is easy to use on all your devices. LastPass does both of these things very well. It's able to encrypt and decrypt at the local device level, and the free version has unlimited access on all your devices, which is a huge plus. Pocket is an underrated app. It lets you easily save any web page for future reference. So if you want to save a blog post, article, or video for later, this is the perfect app for that. With Pocket, you can quickly save anything from the web and access it at any time on any device. It also formats articles into easy distraction-free reading so you can even read them offline. It also lets you tag and organize all of the web pages you save so you can quickly find and sort through them. The hard part is actually remembering to go back and read what you've saved. I have things in there from years ago that I haven't read yet. A rectangle is one of those apps that shouldn't exist but because the feature should already be built into the mac os but alas it's not it's a free open source app that lets you move and resize windows in mac os using keyboard shortcuts or snap areas similar to what's been in microsoft windows for years now not sure why apple hasn't added this feature yet i used to use magnet which works great but rectangle is free and does the job just as well it was so hard to finally choose a to-do app because there are so many. I use Wonderlist, but it's discontinued, so I settled on Todoist after seeing the positive reviews, and it's worked out well, well for me so far. It's an intuitive to-do app that lets you quickly capture and organize tasks. You can use it to remember deadlines with reminders and due dates, build lasting habits with recurring due dates, collaborate on projects by assigning tasks to others, prioritize your tasks with priority levels, track your progress with personalized productivity trends, and best of all, it is free and available on any device. Screens is an awesome app that lets you remotely access your Mac from anywhere and control it from the comfort of wherever you are in the world. I used to use TeamViewer for this, which is a good free alternative, but if you want something optimized for a Mac, go with Screens. It is fast, secure, and reliable with some great features like Curtain Mode, which keeps your Mac desktop hidden while accessing it, sharing files between Macs via drag and drop, clipboard sharing, and multiple display support. It's a must-have if you travel frequently or just need to access your Mac from anywhere. Smart Converter has been my go-to Mac video converter for years. It's free and easy to use and it's quite fast. Smart Converter can handle hundreds of file types and converts them so they play on your favorite devices. I use it a lot to convert MOV to MP4 when I want to upload videos to Twitter because Twitter is very particular about their video requirements. It can also convert audio files and add your converted files to iTunes automatically if you want. Just drag your file into Smart Converter, select an output preset, and click convert. It's that easy. 
This next app is probably the most boring app on this list, but it's something you want to have when you need it. The Unarchiver is a small and easy to use program that can unarchive or unzip many different kinds of archive files such as zip, rar, 7-zip, tar, and gzip, all of which sound like the names of SoundCloud rappers. It will also open many older formats. It will even open other kinds of files like ISO and bin disk images and some Windows EXE installers. It's just a useful utility app for your Mac. And last but not least, Unclutter gives you a convenient place on your desktop for storing notes, files, and clipboard items. It's pretty easy to use, just move your mouse to the very top of your screen and scroll down. From here you can drag items from other applications to the top of the screen to store them in the Unclutter app. Being just one gesture, Unclutter becomes a surprisingly helpful tool for your Mac. It's actually three tools in one. File storage to keep your desktop clean from temporary files, notes to write down something quickly, and a clipboard manager to track what you copy and paste. So those are my top 20 best Mac apps that every Mac user should have. Did I miss any? Let me know in the comments below. I hope this helped you out. All the links to these apps are in the description below. My name is Andy. Thank you for watching and I will talk to you in the next one.